Welcome to the NextGrill Model 720-0896B assembly video. Before we begin, reference your owner's manual to make sure all of your grill's parts are accounted for. Note that you'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver to complete the assembly. If you have any questions or concerns during the assembly process, please call the customer service line on your screen. Let's do this. We'll start by attaching the four casters to the bottom panel. On this grill, you should have two stationary casters, one swivel caster, and one swivel caster with a brake. With the bottom panel flipped upside down, the two stationary casters should be positioned on the left side of the panel, while the swivel caster with a brake should be positioned on the top right corner. Secure each caster with four A screws apiece. Once all four casters are secure, flip the bottom panel right side up and mount the door iron piece by loosening the two pre-assembled screws on the bottom panel, sliding the piece into place, and retightening the screws. Next, we'll attach the side panels. Start by loosening the three pre-assembled screws in the bottom panel, then slide the first side panel into place. Once in place, retighten the pre-assembled screws. Repeat these same steps for the other side panel. Next, attach the rear panel by loosening the two pre-assembled screws on each side panel, sliding the rear panel into place, then retightening the screws. Use an A-screw at the base of the rear panel to secure it to the bottom panel. Next, attach the cart frame to the front end of your grill with the pre-assembled screws pointing downward like so. Use four A-screws to secure the cart frame to your side panels, two for each side. Then mount your two-door hinge-fixed plates on the front of the cart frame, two for each side. Next, attach triangle brackets to all four corners of the front end of your cart. Beginning with the bottom left corner, loosen the four pre-assembled screws, slide the bracket into place, then retighten the screws. Moving diagonally, repeat these steps for the top right corner and the remaining two corners after that. With your cart in place, now it's time to affix the firebox assembly on top. This step requires two people. Carefully lift the firebox assembly and place it on top of the cart making sure the LED light is tucked inside the grill cart while the side burner gas valve and pulse igniter module remain outside the cart. Once in place, secure the firebox assembly with four A screws, two on each side of the firebox. Then carefully and firmly guide the regulator hose down through the cutaway on the right side panel. Next, insert two AA batteries into the battery box in the upper left hand corner of the cart. Then plug in your grill's LED light. Now we'll assemble your grill's doors. First, remove the two pre-assembled screws on each end of your door handle. Then, reinsert each screw from behind the door to mount the handle. Repeat these same steps for the second door. Once your doors are assembled, angle the left door into the cart bottom first, then press down the pin mechanism on top to click the door in place. Once your left door is in, repeat this step for the right door. Now it's time to mount your grill's side shelf. First, remove the three pre-assembled screws in your side shelf. Then remove the pre-assembled screw on the bottom left corner of the control panel and slightly loosen the other two pre-assembled screws on the left side of your grill. After that, slide the shelf into place, then retighten the two screws you loosened. From the inside of your grill's firebox, use three A screws and three C washers to further secure the side shelf. Next, we'll mount the ceramic side burner bowl assembly on the right side of your grill. First, remove the three pre-assembled screws in the shelf. Then, remove the pre-assembled screw on the bottom right corner of the control panel and slightly loosen the other two pre-assembled screws on the right side of your grill. After that, slide the ceramic side burner bowl assembly into place. Then retighten the two screws you loosened. Just like before, from the inside of your grill's firebox, use three A screws and three C washers to further secure the assembly. To install the pulse igniter module, Unscrew the cap and nut from the battery box on the right side of your grill like so. Then insert it through the hole in your side burner control panel and replace the nut and cap. Next, remove the ceramic side burner by loosening and removing the two pre-assembled screws at the back of the burner. Lift the back of the sear burner and gently remove the front stem. Next, loosen the pre-installed screws on the ceramic side burner gas valve. Then carefully and firmly insert the valve through the side burner control panel. Once inserted, retighten the pre-assembled screws and attach the control knob. After that, guide the sear burner back down into its assembly with two hands, making sure it fits over the tip of the main gas valve. Next, replace the two pre-assembled screws at the back of the burner. After that, remove the pre-assembled screw at the very front of the burner assembly. 
Then install the ceramic side burner igniter wire by feeding the wire through the hole, making sure the prongs are facing the burner and taking care not to puncture the ceramic. Then replace the screw. Next, connect the ceramic side burner igniter wire into the open port in the pulse igniter module. Next, find your grease tray assembly. With the grease tray tilted on its side, attach both support brackets with four B screws and four D washers. Once the brackets are in place, attach the support bracket bridge using two B screws. To install your grease tray, simply slide it into the back of your grill. Then from the front of your grill, insert the grease cup into the grease tray. Next, slide the ceramic side burner grease tray through the back. Now that all of your drip pans are in place, set the ceramic side burner cooking grid into place, making sure the hole faces the front of the grill. After that, open the lid on your grill and put each flame tamer into place at the bottom of the main burner bowl. No screws are necessary to secure the flame tamers. On top of those will be the cooking grids and the warming rack. Place the grids into place above the flame tamers, making sure the holes in each grid are facing the front of the grill. Then set the warming rack into place. Next, find the rotisserie motor bracket and remove its two pre-assembled screws. Then on the left side of the firebox, install the rotisserie motor bracket by re-tightening the screws from the inside of the bowl. After that, slide the rotisserie motor onto its bracket, making sure the power cord ends up at the base. Insert the pointed end of the spit rod into the rotisserie motor. Then slide on and secure the two spit forks, followed by the counterbalance. With your grill nearly assembled, now it's time to attach the liquid propane tank. Place your gas tank inside the grill cart with the nozzle pointing to the right side panel. Then carefully and firmly connect the gas line to your tank. Lastly, tighten the tank bolt to secure your gas tank in place. Your next Grill Deluxe 6 burner is now assembled and ready to go. Now get out there and grill something different.